Or Jason, uh, bogey free, five under 67. Excellent day. If we can get some comments on your play. Uh, yeah, real solid day. Um, didn't put myself in any, you know, bad spots. Um, kind of left a few out there. Missed uh, a short one on seven. Uh, another short one on uh, 14. Uh, but, you know, if you're giving yourself opportunities out here, that's, that's the name of the game. I mean, it's a tree line golf course. Uh, if you drive it straight, you're going to give yourself plenty of opportunities. And uh, I did just that. I made a couple. Uh, nice one on 15, but uh, I'd like to take a little bit more advantage, clean up some of the short irons uh, into some of these greens. And good conditions uh, for scoring out there. How was it? Uh, it's great conditions. I mean, uh, it, still wet. I mean, uh, only one day after kind of uh, still standing water on the golf course playing the ball up. So. Uh, I thought the greens rolled uh, a little better today, uh, a little bit faster, so I expect them to be uh, a little bit firmer and a little bit faster tomorrow. Uh, Troy up there at 15 under right now, so you'll yeah. have a little bit of work to do tomorrow. What is your game plan going into the final round? Um, same uh, same as every other round. Uh, give myself a lot of opportunities. I think it's going to be a putting contest. Troy's a great putter, and it's going to take uh, everything I got in the bag to, uh, to catch him tomorrow if he continues the pace he's on. Two wins uh, this year. Um, how important is it to you to keep that momentum? And, and I know you want that third win pretty bad, too. I mean, any time. Uh, I mean, I've had a hell of a season so far um, after not winning for, for that long. So I'm, I'm happy with, uh, with where I'm at. Uh, I definitely want to – I like being in contention. Uh, I like where I'm at going into Sunday. And uh, hopefully he just doesn't get too far ahead of me. What is it like for you coming to the Midwest anytime you can play a tournament, you know, around your hometown? Uh, it's awesome. I mean, I love uh, playing in the Midwest. Uh, I love kind of the atmosphere. I mean – uh, I love the, the greens, the grass. I mean, I'm just kind of used to everything up around this area. And, uh, you know, I enjoy it. I mean, I'm, I'm a Midwesterner at heart, and uh, I got a lot of fans here this week. How many people that you maybe haven't seen in a while, especially with some events last year, most of them without fans around this time, uh, how many people are you seeing here for the first time that you've even seen in a while? Well, I've had a couple family members drive uh, back and forth. It's only about two and a half hours door-to-door -door from uh, my house uh, up over there uh, towards Cleveland. So, uh, a couple familiar faces that uh, that have come and uh, visited me without uh, without asking for tickets or anything. They just kind of show up. It was it's kind of nice. You know, a familiar face in the crowd is always uh, uh, a calming uh, calming thing for me. And uh, I hope uh, a couple more people come tomorrow and support. And uh, hopefully, I can give them uh, quite a bit to cheer about. Coney dogs or skyline chili? Skyline chili. And why? I went to school in Cincinnati. I was, that was the first time I was introduced to it, so I, I, I'm more partial. I did have it this week, and uh, one of my high school buddies, he has a friend up here, and we went, uh, I think, Tuesday. Uh, he came up for practice round, and we, uh, we we went there, but I think I'm more partial to, to Skyline right now. Good stuff, man. My wife says go X. She played there right after you left. There you go. Go X. Thanks, buddy. Cheers. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah.